Hi everyone! This is my first PC build, and it's also my first YouTube video. I decided to solidify my nerd cred by building my own PC to replace my current home theater PC, which I'll do another video about later. I plan to keep this video around 10 minutes, as I think that's as long as a YouTube video should be. Therefore, I won't show you every step of the build because I've seen too many build videos that are an hour to two hours in length, and that's too long to hold my attention. So I'll go through the parts I chose, the costs, and maybe a few shots of me putting it together and finally turning it on. Here are the parts I selected, and it took about a year to get each part, as I wanted to get the best price I thought possible. Also included are a couple of parts I had lying around. I'll put up a super with all the prices of each part, with and without tax. All in all, this build cost around $2400 Canadian, including Windows, which a lot of build videos exclude from their costs. First, I chose to go with a full-size computer case, the Silverstone Grandia 09. As this is my first build, I wanted lots of room to move around and install all the parts as well as have space for future expandability. Next I chose the Gigabyte Gaming 7, a full-size ATX motherboard, and one of the main reasons I went with this is that it includes HDMI 2.0, which means it can output 4K at 60 frames per second, and I wasn't sure when I would add a graphics card to this build and wanted to still be able to use it as a home theater PC, if not a gaming PC. Next, the brains of the system is the Intel Core i7-6700K Skylake CPU which I do plan on overclocking, as I wanted something that could be able to stream HD content without any hiccups, as both my NAS and current home theater PC find it difficult to stream HD content to other devices. And to keep this CPU cool, I went with liquid cooling, the Corsair H100i V2, as I wanted to have a fairly quiet machine, and the fans on my current home theater PC can get quite loud at times. Next, I went with 16GB of DDR4 RAM at 3000MHz. I know that there's faster RAM out there at 3600MHz, but Linus Tech Tip says that the difference is negligible. Next, I went with a 1TB SSD. Now, the motherboard does have an M.2 SSD slot, but I wanted more storage space, and I'm currently using the same drive in my current home theater PC, and it's almost full. And it boots into Windows in seconds, so still plenty fast. Next is a 3TB Seagate hard drive that I had installed in a NAS, but we'll be using it here as a storage device for games from Steam and emulation. Next is a TV tuner card I had from an older PC, so we can watch and record cable television, and it also has a radio tuner to pull over-the-air radio stations. This obviously was made before radio over the internet was a thing. Now, the heart of the system, which I hadn't planned on purchasing so soon, is the ASUS GTX 1080 Turbo, one of the latest and greatest graphics cards with two HDMI 2.0 ports, bringing my HDMI total to three, meaning I could hook up a 4K television, a 4K projector, and a VR set if I wanted. Next is the operating system running this build, and I reluctantly went with Windows 10 as it ditches Windows Media Center, found in Windows 10 and 8, but it includes DirectX 12, which you need to play high-end games like Killer Instinct and Gears of War 4. Powering it all is Corsair's RM650i. The I stands for intelligence, and like the CPU cooler, it includes Corsair Link software to monitor and modify the device if I so desire. It's only 650 watts, but Jay's Two Cents did a video measuring the wattage his gaming PC used and it hovered around 450 watts. And given that the CPU and the graphics card are supposed to be very energy efficient, I figured 650 watts should be enough power to watch HD movies, stream content, and play AAA video games at high settings. I'm pretty sure it can run Crisis. The computer case does have an optical drive bay, and as soon as those UHD Blu-ray drives become available in 2017, fingers crossed, I'll add it to this build. A couple of peripherals I'll add to this build is a Bluetooth 4.0 dongle to add a wireless keyboard and mouse like the backlit Logitech K830, which includes a trackpad, perfect for a home theater PC, and okay for gaming. Or I could add a Bluetooth mouse, Bluetooth headphones, or a Bluetooth speaker. I'll also add an Xbox 360 wireless controller dongle to add wireless Xbox controllers.
All right, moment of truth time. Success. That's it.